Hi guys, in this review I'm looking at Commission Trooper by Art Flair. And it's very important to keep watching this because I want to show you how I'm dissecting this and I'm going to show you why and how I base my reviews on honesty, transparency and trust. And why products like this are very dangerous for beginners because uh, they teach you very sloppy and very bad marketing techniques which are not going to help you grow as a marketer. Okay. This here is based on my own personal opinion, uh, based on eight years of experience and uh, from seeing this, these types of services pop up every single month without fail from marketers like Art Flair. Okay? Um, so keep watching this review of uh, Commission Troopers so you can understand and hopefully save some money in the future. All right? So uh, the product itself is the usual cheap and cheerful kind of thing. Okay, uh, Art Flair and his partners are well within their rights to pr promote and sell the stuff, even though it's very misleading. Okay, and I'll, I'll explain to you why. Uh, because this here is cheap, cheerful. Okay, it's, it is what it is, guys. You, pay, you get what you pay for. If you're paying ten, fifteen dollars for a training module, you cannot expect these types of results from this. Okay, and the sales page here, it is what it is. It's a sales page. It's here to. Uh, convinced by unfortunately um, people like Art Flair choose to use wording and emotional triggers which are very misleading in my opinion because these do not represent what you get inside the members area okay now they have full demos here of exactly what the software does and if you actually actually watch this video here um, you can see that uh, effectively everything inside the software is completely pointless you do not need it you do not uh, it's just a, it's a it's a glorified app to check things that you can already check okay you can check uh, the best sellers on worry plus you can check the best sellers on jvzoo okay fair enough they have an app for this okay fair enough why not okay but the the, the key component here of this so-called traffic generation software is that um art flair tells you that you can use this uh, uh youtube um, creator app they have which can pull in creative commons videos and then you can then add an intro and an outro and upload it as your own and somehow magically make money right now i can tell you right now that's not going to work simply for the reason of um using a uh, creative common common videos um is complete points for you as a content creator because there's no user intent behind there right so if you take somebody else's video that is about a different topic about something else right so then you have to tailor whatever you promote to that okay so it means that if somebody's searching for how to make money online and they and you take somebody else's video which is under creative creative commons they're not going to be talking about what you're promoting okay the user intent isn't there and here where uh, art flair tells you a super amazing ability for the software to show you youtube stats all they show you is the is the view counts the subscriber count and so on which is absolutely pointless. You don't need that or it has no value to you. You can see here, he's, cl he's clicking on the button here and he shows you the stats here, All right? There's no keyword research here. There's no keyword research volume. There's no anything. It just shows you how many likes they got, how many, how, how long the video is, and how many view, uh, videos challenge have. There's completely pointless metrics. It means nothing. There's no keyword research here, okay? Um, so in effect, this software here is just a, it's a simple gimmick, guys. It's very important to understand this and also, um, these so-called screenshots here of proof that this works, right? Now, I want to make this very clear. Art Flair claims that this software helps him make money by producing these videos and going for these keywords here. Social media management duties. Social media management proposal. Social media management resume. And he claims that these videos rank and supposedly these bring in you know, a lot of views in seconds and you can, you can use these to make money online, right? Here, we've included a real life case that he has proof, okay? And if you actually go and search for these terms in Google, his videos are nowhere to be found, okay? And even if they are, when they are, guess what? Nobody is searching for these keywords, social media management duties, okay? Uh, social media management resume or whatever, okay? There is no search volume. Okay, which means that yes, of course he'll rank because there is no competition, right? Just like I, I can create a video right now called social media um, tablet uh, plug, right? And I'll rank number one for that because there is nobody searching for it. Okay, there's no competition. So if you actually come, come to this page here and look at all these search terms, 
and you're going to find that you're, you're not going to find him ranking for these search terms, all these, right? Now, the ones he does rank for, you'll notice, if you actually go to a, um, a keyword research tool, you'll see there is absolutely no searching volume for those uh, videos. Also, on a purely practical point here, if you actually go to um, and look at these here, you can see that he's got multiple, multiple channels. He's got one for Art, or Art or Vodge or something. He's got Art Flair. He's got uh, another one down here in Spanish, something here. This one here is like, uh, yeah, it's got about four or five different channels here. And you can see the same, same video over and over and over again, right? And if you actually come to Art Flair's channel, you can see here's an example of, he's just uploading the same videos, okay? He's literally spamming. Okay, he's uploaded the exact same video four or five times using four or five different, uh, um, four or five different uh, YouTube channels. And guys, that is not how you become a marketer. You do not become a marketer by spamming your videos on multiple channels uh, just to saturate the market with a two minute low quality video. Okay, that's not how you market. That's not how you become a marketer. Equally, again, guys, use your common sense. If I zoom in here and you actually look at these search terms, plumber Algarve. Plumber Algarve Portugal, okay? These are search terms that nobody is searching for, okay? And guess what? If they are searching for that, they're searching for a plumber. They're not searching for Art Flair. They're searching for a plumber, okay? Um, and Google will bring up the best results for you. And equally, if you actually look at the sales page here, um, Art Flair and his buddies, they, they release one of these products every single month without fail. And if you look at all these other products here, they're all identical. They're all exactly the same. Okay. They're all exactly the same. Same thing. The secret software that's supposedly bringing you traffic immediately. And hey, presto, look at this. This here is a, this one here is called traffic, uh, traffic magic, right? And look, he's using the same screenshots as profit, uh, as proof that this works. But this is a different software, right? Huh. That's strange. And you can see it's the same thing where he's, he's just, uh, they're, they're simply misleading you. Okay. Now, this app they've got here. Will this work? Does it work? Yeah, it works in terms of the app works, right? If you actually, if you buy this and you use this, it will do what it says. It will bring up, uh, you can bring up, you can look at ClickBank, you can uh, bring up, uh, you can use the image editor and so on, but it has no value, right? You're not going to actually make any money with this because the videos you're going to be pumping out are Creative Commons. And generally speaking, guys, if, if a video has been, been marked as Creative Commons, it's going to be generic it's not going to be good, right? And the, it's not going to it's not going to match the user intent behind whoever watches that video. Because and also don't forget, guys, it's not your video, so it's not you on camera. You're not building a foundation, right? Um, and also on that on a practical level, guess what? There are a lot of people out there who will steal videos and upload them as Creative Commons. And if I go into my own channel here and go to my channel copyrights, can you see here, people are copying my videos and uploading them as their own. Can you see that? Right? Someone's done it right here, actually. Someone's someone's uploaded my latest Magic Funnel review. Uh, let's see who this guy is. Okay. So you can see he is he, this guy here, whoever it is. I have no idea who this is. Warrior Plus Reviews. He's using a software like this to basically take other people's videos. Right? No idea who this guy is. Don't care. Right? But guess what? What I'm going to do? I'm going to come here. I'm going to click on this button here and I'm going to then request removal. Okay. But he's uploaded this as if it's his own, right? But it's not because it's mine. I made that video. He didn't. Right. And so uh, I'll see if I can find it here, actually. Uh, let me just find this real quick and I'll come back in a second. And so when I come here and I open this video here, you can see he's just basically copied my video exactly. Okay. And so, uh, he, he might actually upload this as a Creative Commons. Who knows, right? Regardless, these are the types of videos that will end up on the software. Okay. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to request removal. Okay. And I'll say, look, this is mine. This is not yours. You, you, you're not allowed to use this. And obviously, this channel here, this uh, Warrior Plus Reviews, will get shut down. Right. That's simple because obviously they're going to get um, a lot of complaints from people like me. Right, and so when you're doing this, guys, you need to think, guys, simply spamming YouTube with a mountain of low-quality Creative Commons videos is not going to make you money, okay? And also for you as, um, uh, if, for you as a marketer, as you know, a, a human being, you need to think about this: Is that how you want to build a business? Is that how you want to, uh, you know, uh, grow as a marketer online by simply 
basically, can you tell your spouse, your family, your friends, yeah, I'm a marketer. What I do is I come online and I spam YouTube with a mountain of low quality videos. I didn't make myself. They're not relevant to anybody who was searching for anything. I'm just putting them up there to get loads of views. Yes, that's me. That's what I do. That's what I love doing, right? There's no pride in this. And this, the, the point to you guys, all this here, it's just misleading, okay? It's not a new cloud-based uh, software. There are a lot of these softwares, okay? You're not going to get free traffic from this, okay? Um, you're not going to get uh, sales like this. These sales here do not come from using this method. These come from these guys just selling products like this, and that's how they um, make money, okay? And so what, all the stuff here, everything they've put here, is just misleading kind of content because... Um, uh, they do not generate videos like this, right? Uh, because if you actually find uh, the videos uh, created by um, Artflare and so on, you can see they get no views. The only views they get here are people searching for it, like me doing reviews and so on. And uh, if you actually watch these videos, you can see they're, they're so a 38 second video, guys. That offers no value. It's not about giving, give, giving value to your followers. It's not about doing it. It's just about spamming that your content on multiple, multiple, multiple channels and hoping somebody is naive enough to click on your link and buy something, right? That's not how you grow a business online. And it's the simple fact that, that he's using the same screenshot, screenshots of so-called pro, uh, proof for multiple pro products um, shows that even Art doesn't use this. Because if he did, he would have multiple uh, channels showing click for click he was making money, but he doesn't because he doesn't use it himself, right? Do you, you understand that? Uh, so it's so important, guys. You guys uh, take these products with, with a pinch of salt. People like Art, uh, Gosala, and Rabat, they're not doing anything wrong here, okay? They are perfectly entitled and allowed to sell this stuff. But, guys, wake up. If you're paying 10 bucks for a product, what, what are you expecting? Are you genuinely thinking that you can earn instant commissions and all that crap from clicking a button and sitting back and watching the money come in. No, it doesn't work that way. Because if it did, people like Art would be charging tens and tens and hundreds of thousands of dollars from this because they will be so rich and have such a, a flawless system that guess what? They probably wouldn't even sell it, right? <laughs> so guys, you're paying, I don't know how much it is, how much it is probably like fourteen ninety nine, the usual kind of product price, okay? Wake up, smell the roses, and have a realistic mindset. This is cheap, cheerful nonsense. That's what it is, and that's what you get. That's what you pay for, right? So with that in mind, uh, I hope you enjoy my review of the Commission Trooper. And please you know, uh, use your head, guys, and realize what it is, right? Uh, buy if you want to, okay? And learn from this. Uh, but uh, please do not start spamming the internet with these crappy kind of videos, right? So that's my own personal opinion, and I'll see you all in my next review.